persuasive speech is about whether or not we should have advertising that is geared towards children and influencing them. Uh, we all know that as time has gone on, we have all become more dependent on social medias and just technology in general. And so something that a lot of people don't think about quite as much is the impact this can have on younger children as they grow up and are exposed to just a barrage of advertising in their day-to-day -day lives. Uh, I'm an authority on this just due to the research I've done. And so the first thing uh, to talk about is just why it's an issue. And the two main things is just the morals of it and also uh, just like the issue with the ignorance of how people go about it. Now, one of the main things is the ease of manipulating a child to be influenced by something. Uh, this is shown very easily through research done about childhood obesity and things of that nature. And a lot of it has been linked to uh, an overexposure to fast food advertising when they're young, which just normalizes it. And in addition, uh, a lot of the times why advertising is geared towards the children is because parents will buy their children things that they would never get otherwise just due to uh, not having an actual interest. Now, another thing that happens from it is the long-term spending habits. And this kind of goes along with like the obesity thing where once a child has started getting kind of hooked into a lot of these marketing practices and like fast food is completely normalized to them, uh, they can keep making the same like unhealthy decisions over and over and over and not understanding if there's a problem about it. And that's, uh, I found that information in an article from the Nebraska Wesleyan Library that was published in 2014. And then additionally, there are also the general moral ramifications of advertising to children due to it being seen almost as just going after easy prey uh, in the marketing industry. And one of the next things to talk about is the degree of invasiveness in day-to-day -day life with children. And so, as found on the website jnab.org, which had this article published in 2006, uh, children from two to four are generally exposed to about 12 minutes of advertising for every one hour of television or just general media consumption. And this ends up uh, increasing by around the end of grade school uh, to about three and a half hours per day. And that's according to biomedcentral.com, 2004. And so that means that at about that time, if they're actually, uh, if the child is falling in line with that statistic, that means they're being exposed to about 30 minutes of ad advertising per day, uh, which at a young age can completely change how they view certain products, this, that, and the other. Now, for solutions to this issue, uh, things like more scrutiny on what advertising is allowed to be shown on certain programs that are geared towards children, like children's TV shows and stuff of that nature, uh, and also to limit in-app purchases for things like games and stuff of that nature, uh, helps to massively decrease the amount of uh, like impulse spending later in life for the children. And uh, part of the reason with this is that uh, without being overexposed to these things, it's not seen as just a part of life, and it's also not seen as a no-risk, high-reward type situation, which is what some children end up with if they've been spending their parents' money on these products for a good amount of time. And so it ends up uh, just being better for the children in general if there aren't types of advertising like that. Uh, and a solution for everything 
is in numerous countries, uh, namely like Britain and Germany, they have restrictions on what type of, of advertising can be shown on programs that are specifically geared towards children. Namely, they don't allow fast food advertising, uh, and they've seen decreases in childhood obesity, as well as the fact that just in general, uh, like parents seem to be generally happier knowing that their child isn't being targeted and that they'll actually grow up to make like their own decisions and not be influenced by marketing quite as much. Um, now, one of the things that some people object to is they say it doesn't matter, uh, and to which I would say it's kind of about the freedom of choice for the child as well as the just general morality of not trying to influence them. And then another objection is that it's not feasible for these network companies to limit what types of ads they can show because it cuts down on profits. Uh, but as mentioned before, with uh, countries like Britain and Germany, they have imposed restrictions and uh, they are not uh, very negatively influenced because just where those gaps are, other advertisers come into play. Also in those countries, uh, for an example of one of the restrictions, Toys aren't allowed to be shot in deceiving, uh, like, ang like camera angles. So you can't make a product seem larger than it is, or you can't advertise features that it doesn't have, uh, in order to make it so the child isn't like disillusioned with what they will be getting if they actually like buy a toy. And uh, as well. That was found with the makewealthhistory.org at, or in 2013. Now, finally, just some benefits is it promotes healthier decisions for children who aren't being advertised fast food. Uh, children are more well informed later in life because they don't have preconceptions about what they should or shouldn't buy. Uh, it's less pressure on the parents because the children won't be, you know, begging for things. Uh, it gains better reputations for programs that aren't trying to like sell your kids stuff, which in turn makes parents want you know, their kids to watch those programs more, which gives higher ratings. Uh, and then it's also just better purchasing habits in the long run for the child. And so that's just been my whole spiel on why we shouldn't market towards children. And so in general, I think everyone should just be a little more conscientious of what kids in the future are watching and just think about the children.